Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles Defenders of a Distant Future Connected. I almost was attempted to jump down here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Holy crap, this is an actual alien! And now back to the shoulder that somehow mysteriously floats. Three, one. Resist. Resist. Triple resist. Yes. It's all suckers, I don't know. This is my place of just weak items. Yes. I can probably buy them just for looking cool. Even though know, this is not an equipable style of items. Okay, I'm confused. Is this like a just a cool thing? This is apparently something cool. It's such a thing that these stats are really, really quite up. Oh no, wait. Just gotta look through them. Yes. Oh, oops. Okay, I got another one. Oop -de -doop. This is totally not gonna be confusing between colors whatsoever. It's best it was the hand off. Okie dokie. I don't think we're just gonna go for something that stands out. Okay, that's weird. That's revealing. I am going for the mismatch type here, apparently. They really don't have much of a closing for now, pun. Let's go about this as we can. Spicy so stuff got another level up.
It may be a simple function of the many years I've lived, but I have been to countless things. And yet, the time I spent with the boy feels as fast as anything I've ever experienced, and partly just because of it. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, thanks for that insight. You got my back, Nene. Are you that? Have you been acquainted with Lady Winnie? She's a horse who fled here from Alkamoth. I was very worried for her when we first arrived in Grand Earl. She was spoken, physically and spiritually. She devotes herself to looking after the armies these days, and she tries to put on a brave face. But I can tell. Sometimes this is the most vulnerable look in her eyes, and I find it really rather compelling. Pardon? Ah, uh, sorry. Perhaps that was a bad turn of phrase. I just want to look after her, right? Because she's safe. Let me guess, there's a quiet moment that I can't see it because I'm not that far into the story yet? Question mark? Why is this tower really long? And that was not the spot, so it's probably down there of all things. Why am I going up here? Oh, wait, because exploration. This is really high, holy crap. Gee, but this is like really tall. Oh no, it's up in. And I can't see. Okay. And there was nothing of interest here, but there was an item. Just because we snug up there. And I. Yep. There we go. Eat. Ow. Ow. Oh crap. Oh how how I'm lucky that was not that high damage. Are you perchance Radsom? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Thielen mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Thielen sent you. Him and Tyre are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyre. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Thielen. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. So we're at the last screen. I wanna... Fade to black. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Ether field? <clears throat> yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now. The Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. 
So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there to feed on the ether, and as a result, keep the threat contained. Oh, that's hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. <clears throat> but my ether, it worked against fog beasts, but not the fog king. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Probably because it has a lot. Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Teelin's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. Oh. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that... The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. Is that true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like job for here at Bonkino. Just let Nina at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama, me, what that thing? Uh oh. Is that? It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. Oh no. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. You know, the only way to actually warp close is to warp the end. What is happening over there? Uh... Uh, guys? Miss Melly, look ahead! Uh, 
the fog. This can't be good. Huh? Fog beasts. Here they come. No time for deliberations. Let's go, Shulk. Got it. Just to get fear upon you, man. Well, this can't be good. And not come back. Shulk, the fog beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. We're now going beyond it. I think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Oh no. Oh no, Grandel. Ah. Oh. What is matter? The Armus could turn into fog beasts. Meh, meh, no one to picture that. Must hurry to rescue. I mean, we could warn them. It's really making me go back. Hey. The inconveniences of just having to walk from one place to another. Back we go! Conveniently realized that's the plot. And exactly what I feared happened. Instinct was right, Melia. Yes, although the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ratson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these are moves. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right, you are. Yo, are moves! Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. 
Kino accepts your supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real hereupon never has compensation. Or it say that? <laughs> Shulk. Was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Yes. Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the Rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the Rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case... If the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. And once again we are teleporting because the majority of it's just... Whoop, whoop, whoop and just whoop. There's also a question. That I think I ignored it. In the third episode. Huh? Villain! What do you want? Oh, why you do you have a sword? The way of a new age dawning. Why do you have those things? I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work. I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. I knew he was a villain. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Oh, shut up, Elgar, you. What is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? Yes. The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the High Entia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. I will take dominion over all, and the world will be set to rights. Let's focus our efforts.
I... I know I am not wrong. I'm not! I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. Oh. No! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Fix his hell! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? The Telethia saved him! Telethia, here! Damn! Get him! Research, at least. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. On all of it. <gasps> the future. I will take dominion over all, and the world will be set to rights. <laughs> Something tell okay, this wasn't a thing to go in by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to level up. <laughs> Shut up, you. That was a new boss. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't expect to notice me, buddy, but okay. Sure. Just a simple turning will allow you to get me. Okay. Alright, what do I need to do to get you, buddy? I've drilled some dicks, but has no eyes. I already have it? Well, apparently I just grabbed one, I guess.
Wait, what? Fudge off! Please manage to get your quest done. So close to level up. So the one in yellow is the one who is recommending me to do them. Understandably so. But I'm a little bit ticked that I'm not didn't, didn't get level up from that. So hopefully getting this thing will give me a lot more experience. I don't know, that's a hope. I am dead? Well, we got to do off one cool attack, but uh, we died for that. Oh, fudge off, game. <laughs>